Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here again with another Atlantic League game, the 1994 season, with some franchise players sprinkled in on each of the ball clubs. And we are up to Sunday, September 4th, and we are taking on the Yankees. We are home against the Yankees, so let's get that game queued up. Uh, the lineup for the Yankees will be Luis Polonia leading off at DH. Willie Randolph will bat second and be the second baseman. Paul O'Neill, the temperamental right fielder, will bat third. Uh, Leyritz, forget his first name, the catcher. Wade Boggs, the chicken man, will be at third base. Uh, Danny Tartable will be in left. Um... Hal Chase is going to be in center field for the Yankees. Now, if this is the Hal Chase that I'm thinking of, he was a gold glove type first baseman. So I don't know what he's doing in center field, but I guess the Yankees, you know, taught him how to play center. Mike Stanley will be at first base, and Gene Michael the Stick will be at shortstop, and they will have left-hander and only-hander uh, Abbott pitching on the mound. We will have Alex Fernandez going up against him, and our lineup will be Lance Johnson in center field leading off, Joey Cora at second base batting second, batting third will be Frank the Big Train Thomas at first base, Robin High Ventura will be at third, Bill Melton is our DH today, Carlton Fisk will be at catcher, uh, uh, Darren Jackson will be in right. Ozzie Guillen is at short. And The Rock, Tim Raines, is in left. So let's get on with that game. So we've got Polonia leading off here against Fernandez. Now, we, um, I will show you the standings after this game is over. But we uh, seem to be really, for all intents and purposes, out of the race. It doesn't look like we're going to have a chance to make the playoffs. And certainly not if Alex, or Alex uh, Fernandez keeps putting people on, on base. But he, we turn a double play, so that helps. We only have uh, O'Neill at um, first base. And Jim Leyritz, that's it, Jim. Should have known that. That was a simple name to not get wrong. All right, so you got Jim Abbott out there on the mound pitching to Lance Johnson. And he's going to hit it out to shortstop to Gene Michael, who makes the play. And then uh, Joey Cora is going to be up next, and he will ground out to shortstop. And that brings up Frank Thomas. And Frank Thomas is going to hit it out to Michael again. Uh, ooh, Michael boots it this time. So Ventura is up with Thomas aboard. And he is going to line out to right field, to O'Neill. And so we are in a 0-0 game going to the second inning. And Wade Boggs is the hitter. And Wade Boggs just missed a home run. He's going to hit it deep out to the fence, and Johnson is going to chase it down. And then uh, Danny Tartable is the batter with a man at second, and he is going to double him home. And so now the Yankees are ahead one nothing. The Yankees, however, are doing very well in our season. As I recall, and here he is, the man of the hour, Hal Chase who was, as I say, he was known for being a very good defensive first baseman, and he's playing center field for them, and he is also doubling over the head of our center fielder and knocking in another run, and so the Yankees have a 2 nothing lead, and Mike Stanley is the batter. And all kinds of things are going wrong here. There's going to be a ground ball out to Guillen. And they scored the third run on that infield um, out. And Gene Michael the Stick is going to fly out. But the Yankees have a 3 nothing lead. Luis Polonia is going to be the batter. 
And, uh, oh, no, I thought that was the last out, but apparently not. And so we walk Polonia, which is not a good idea, with his speed. And then Wilson gets a, or, uh, Randolph gets a single. I am just going to hold the runners. And then, and then there's a fly ball, and that is the final out of the inning, finally. But we're down 3 nothing. And the Yankees are getting all kinds of uh, traffic on the bases, whereas we are not. Belton, Bill Melton is up, and he is going to hit a home run. And he brings us within two with one single swing of his bat. So it is three to one now, and Carlton Fisk. Now, Carlton Fisk could do the same thing, but he doesn't. He strikes out. And that brings up Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson is going to hit the ball to the catcher, Layritz. And he'll make the play, and Guillen is the batter. And Guillen is going to line out to second base. But we did get within two runs. Let's see if Alex Fernandez can hold the Yankees right where they are. He strikes out Layritz as the first batter. Wade Boggs is up. Now, I understand Wade Boggs was a great hitter, and he does fly out, so... Fernandez induces him to fly out to Reigns. And there's two down with Tartable up. And Tartable will strike out. So we're going to the fourth, or no, the bottom of the third. We're going to the bottom of the third with Rock Reigns. And just missing a home, another home run. We could have gotten within one, but this is going to be a deep fly ball to Tartable. Instead. And Lance Johnson is going to be up and he's going to fly out. And that brings up Joey Cora. Joey Cora is going to ground out to second base, and we don't get any more runs. We came very close on a long fly ball to left field, but it didn't happen. Now, Hal Chase, who doubled the last time and is playing center field for some reason, is out. And I'm sure he did play center field at some point. <laughs> but, um, again, he was known for being an excellent defensive first baseman. Uh, Gene Michael, the stick is going to fly out to center, I would assume, because we have Johnson out there, and he is a one. And so, we are still locked in a 3-1 game with the hurt. The big hurt is going to hit it out to Randolph. I don't like the looks of that. But what happens on it? He is out. Ventura is up. Ventura is going to fly to center. So we got to stay out of that five column. I mean, that five column for uh, Jim Abbott is killing us. And Belton Bill Melton is going to strike out. So we have Polonia leading off here and getting a single. That's bad news. He has good speed. And then another a single one to seven. This is just exactly how the first inning played out. I'm going to have to throw for the lead runner, but it didn't work. And then a walk. This is exactly how the first inning played out. He did the same exact, almost to a T, the same exact sequence of events. Luckily, he strikes out Layritz, but he's got to still get two more outs with the bases loaded and only one away. But he's going to get it. He's going to get the ground ball double play. <coughs> that he absolutely needed for us. And so we are still only losing by two. And Carlton Fisk is batting, and he is going to ground out. What we need to do is get um, Abbott the hell out of this game, because he is just pitching his ass off. And that brings up Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson's going to fly out. And that'll be two down here in the fifth. Here in the White Sox fifth, and Guillen is the batter, and he is going to ground out to short. So Danny Tartable is facing Fernandez, and that is going to be a fly ball. A deep fly ball to Johnson for the first out. And up steps Hal Chase. 
Here he is, and he's going to hit the ball down to Thomas at first base. And Thomas makes the play, thankfully, and that brings Stanley up, and he singles. He's going to single right back through the box. Stanley is aboard with two down here in the sixth with a stick up. And he is going to fly out to right field. So, uh, we go to the bottom of the sixth, and Tim Raines is the batter, and he is going to fly out. So we can't get anything going against Abbott. As I th I'm convinced as long as Abbott stays in this game, we're in trouble. Lance Johnson is the batter, and he is going to fly out to left field. And that brings up Joey Cora. And he is going to ground out to the pitcher, Abbott. And uh, so we're going to the seventh inning. And uh, Fernandez, it's not like Fernandez has pitched horribly. He did allow the bases loaded but he got out in one inning and got out of that mess. And he allowed the bases loaded in the first inning and uh, some runs scored. And Ventura boots this ball, so O'Neill is up with a man on, and that's going to be a ground ball double play and get us out of the inning. Like I said, Fernandez not pitching terribly. We just can't touch Abbott. And Abbott is still out there, not surprisingly. And that is going to be a fly ball from Thomas. So there is one down. And Ventura the batter. And Ventura is going to fly out. Our run coming on a Bill Melton home run. After that, aside from that, nothing. And here he is, the man of the hour, Bill Melton. And he is going to strike out. So uh, I'm going to make a pitching change here. Um, even though Fernandez is pitching pretty well. Um, we're going to go with Wilbur Wood. Wilbur Wood has pitched 105 innings on the season, but uh, in real life he pitched 140 in the 1970 season. So this is just a walk in the park for Wood, and he is going to face Leyritz, and he's going to allow a single to Leyritz. Now, the only things he has against righties, at least, is a... Um, is in the four column. Now there's a single. I'm going to try to cut down the runner. And that's going to be a strikeout. And uh, that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Not in time. So they get another run across. And that's going to be a strikeout of Stanley, which will be two down. And there's going to be a strikeout by Michael. So we are um, in the uh, bottom of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth with Fisk up. And that is going to be an out. He's going to ground out. And Darren Jackson is going to ground out. And Gian is up, and Gian is going to get a single for only our second hit. And Tim Raines is the batter, and Tim Raines will be out. So um, Abbott pitching a hell of a game here. And Polonia is the batter to face Wood, and he strikes out. We're down by three, and I don't see us getting three runs with the way Abbott is pitching, and uh, I don't see them taking him out with the way he's pitching. And Paul O'Neill with two down, and he grounds out to second, brings us to the ever-important ninth inning, and uh, Lance Johnson is going to foul out to the catcher. And Joey Cora is going to just be out. He's going to ground out to Boggs at third base. 
And that brings up Frank Thomas. And Frank Thomas is going to strike out. And so we get a complete game from Jim Abbott. Pitches a complete game against us. And, uh, I mean, rightfully so. He only gave up two hits and one run. And that was on the home run by Melton. And so here's the box score. You can take a look at the box score. But, yeah, very bad game for us. And that will be it for me. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. We're going to look at the standings now. Just to give you a look at the standing, I almost forgot. League stats. And you can see that we are in third place, 10.5 back. And if you look at the other divisional races, you can see we're really not, I mean, maybe not mathematically eliminated, but we really don't have a chance of getting a playoff spot based on what this looks like. Uh, we hung in there. We hung in there. We do have a, a plus 500 record, but it just I don't think it's, it's going to be for us. It's not going to work for us this time. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.